Okay, so part two of my quartz monuments. Um, this is one that I built literally yesterday at the front of our house. I'm gonna show you this thing all the way around. Um, obviously the granite boulder at the bottom was already there, but all of those big quartz rocks, I uh, carted up myself. Um, obviously I didn't carry them on my back or anything. Um, I collected them, put them in the back of the bobcat, and then uh, and then dumped them off here. Um, anyway, so yeah, let's uh, let's take a look around this one. Yeah. You got the three uh, towers on the top. It goes down here. That's our hole in the granite for the flagpole. So this will be surrounding the flag, um, right in the sunlight there. This will be surrounding the flag at the 4th of July. And can you see that little bridge that I made there? And then the rocks on top. So you come swooping in like this. And... So that is the one I built yesterday, and that is probably going to be the last one that I do uh, for a while until they fall apart. Because, especially this one here, which I did last weekend, um, as you can see, the top rocks are relatively precarious there so when the snows happen this one's a goner but um yeah anyway so i'm gonna have a look around this one i quite like the form of this one it's, in terms of form this is the my favorite one that i've done just because the top is so skinny oops let's come in a little bit So there, that's, uh, ouch. I just uh, took a chunk out of my knee just then. So yeah, that's, uh, that's my, uh, my second tower. All quartz, no granite, no amethyst. Just like the first one I showed you there a moment ago. And uh, once the rain comes along and washes most of the dirt off of this quartz and it's gonna be nice and gleaming white and I think it's gonna be really pretty. Anyway, uh, thank you for watching. May all your ups and downs be ups.